Okay, so we've been uh, waiting approximately 94 minutes at this moment in time, and uh, there was about 30 people lined up all the way back there. We were at the end. We are now last in line. It's 11.30. We still need to drive, I don't know, 30 minutes. We need to get food, because we have an eight for like eight hours. And uh, yeah, so long night tonight. We thought we were gonna catch up, but here we are. Good morning, everybody. We are headed out for day number four, and I gotta find the parking brake. Ah, there we go. Um, and so we are headed to Dave Reynolds over here in Bryant, Arkansas, in Saline County, and then we we're actually doing two franchises today. So we're going to knock out Dave. Then we're going to drive over to Tennessee, just outside of Memphis and Cordova and meet with Nick Denelbeck. So, a bit of a double header today, and uh, come on for the ride. Welcome to Arkansas. I don't know, man. The humidity, we definitely knew we were in the right place. And we had a cool snap, so it kind of warmed up a little bit yesterday. Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, bro. Yeah. Who's this? This Lucas. is Lucas. Lucas, nice to meet you, man. Good to meet you, man. Lucas is Mike. Don't Josh. mind the camera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Friendly. Cool. Yeah. So, cool. Is this your at church or just one of No, this is just a guy that we, uh, you know, found us online. Cool. So on Google. So we, cool. we, uh, we've had this one all year. Okay. So that's been good. I like to park down here so we can get some. Yeah, we've some really nice track. shots. Yeah. Really nice shots for the drone action. Yeah. And then the, the uh, this one we probably won't do very much here. We'll just do as much as you want to do pictures and we'll okay. come back and finish it. Because okay. it takes like two hours for both of us okay. to do it. So that, well, but there's enough here we could get a lot of shots for you. Yeah. So don't just feel free to do it. When there, and there's a neighborhood I want to take you to, too. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this Perfect. this neighborhood is probably, I don't know what you say, I mean, there's at least 500 homes in it. It's got big. We, and we've only got about five clients in there right now, but it would be great for some more in there. For, yeah, route okay. saturation. So I'd love to get some shots in that neighborhood. Cool. Sounds so good. So how much of you want to get when you guys are done, let me know, and we'll go down to that neighborhood and we can wrap it up. Okay, let's do like uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes here, yeah. and then we'll head to the other one. Whatever you think. Cool. Whatever Sounds you good. Need. All right. Sounds good. My name is Dave Reynolds and we're located in Saline County, Arkansas. We serve Bryant, Benton, and actually all of Central Arkansas. One of the main struggles has been working with the business side of it, learning how to do um, the new systems like with Service Autopilot, uh, learning how to do marketing, uh, trying to get you know active on Google and Facebook and other platforms to really get it out there. I had zero experience in that at 45 years old. And so having Mike and the team and the website development, all of that was exactly what I needed to to take it to the next level. Otherwise, I was just doing word of mouth, simple guerrilla marketing, and it really felt inadequate to uh, in those areas. So that's that's been my biggest struggle. That's what I'm trying to overcome. I'm feeling much better about that. I love learning. Um, I love being challenged. I love this. I love this business. I love landscaping. I love green industry. I love being outside. And I feel like to be able to take this and scale it. Um, the tools that I've learned from Mike and the team and the training from Liz, uh, the help that they get, incredibly helpful and friendly. Um, all of that, the academy, the accessibility to videos and training, I can go back and look it up. Uh, the marketing side, as I mentioned, all of that has just been, that, those have been the most positive experiences for working with the team.
but I didn't like the way they handled that at all. But Dave has done such a great job for us. Yeah, good to see you too. Good to see you. Stay in touch and let me know if there's anything to do. I know you're moving at the, the, the west yeah. side. Yeah, I was going to tell you, I did a search. Uh, I was on the front page of Little Rock. Okay. I did Little Rock Lawn Care. Yep. And I came up like third or fourth on Google, so cool. it's already hitting the okay, SEO. Good. I had him, for some reason, your area, Google is like immediately responsive. I don't know if you remember, wow. like the second day it was up, you were in Little Rock. Yeah, was right, right, the training. That's not normal, man. Okay. So, nice. I guess it's good. A lot. So I definitely want to stay in this area because of my family. I have roots in yep, this. Yep. But you just have a couple scale. routes, you know. Right? Yeah. And then exactly. so even if they from there brings the projects and you have bigger jobs or like yeah. you know, a lot of your you can at least send someone over here and do a couple routes. Exactly. And it's not and I live in Little Rock and I plan to yep. stay there. Yeah. So, you know, being you know, like sending somebody like him just to do an all day on Little Rock. Yep. We already do like six lawns in Little Rock right now, as it okay, is. Okay, so okay. we're already there. Cool. But awesome. Well, then when we get back, Josh will send you a USB with okay. all like the foot, footage, pictures of the whole nine yards. Yeah. And then that last one we'll mix up for you because eventually I want that to be actually your home page. That's awesome. Where you actually yeah. are integrated a little bit there. This is so cool, man. I'm, I'm really pumped about you guys doing this. So. so. Awesome. Well, hey, we'll, we'll get back to it. Yeah. It's and wonderful I'll, uh, weather. Anything worse than this for us is horrible. <laughs> so I don't know how you guys can do in August, September. It, you just, you have to get used to it. That's why I said when I was hiring guys, I started doing on job interviews because they just, I just got enough thing can handle it, right, you yeah, know. Yeah, so, yeah. but yeah, hopefully uh, I won't be able to feel. Gotta just much. keep raising up the swimmers so they can you're good. Yeah. Right. Can you give them work? Get in those the young guys, yeah, because <laughs> they're outside in the heat all day. They, oh, they can take man. it. Good stuff. So, all right, Dave. All right. We'll catch up. Take Thanks. care, brother. Thanks, Josh. See you, man. All right, midday snack here: some hummus and carrots. We just finished up with Dave Reynolds here in Arkansas. Now we got a couple hour drive headed over to Tennessee to meet with Nick Denelsbeck over in Cordova. So um, yeah, we're gonna drive for a couple hours, eat a bunch of food, charge all the batteries for the cameras and gear, and head over there. This is why we're sitting here late to the Knicks. How's it going, man? You've been Good. a while. Yeah, nice to see you. You guys flew in and then drove or flew over there to Little Rock, then drove here after yeah. we're starting to get all mixed up. Yeah. Hey, good to see you, hey, to see you buddy. <laughs> all right, so which ones are we working on right Look, now? Look, they're like mowing in the backyard. It's kind of fun to uh, kind of maybe get a shot of or a okay. video of. Okay. And so we, we mow this guy, that hat, the, the columns, and the small columns, and then this house over here. Okay. And we do his leaves in the winter, he mows his own yard. Okay. So you guys are gonna knock this up pretty fast. Let me get the Yeah, there's four right guys away. working and then we're gonna do a little bush trim and a little bush trim oh, perfect. over here. Perfect. Keep the full focus on the mowing first. Alright, yeah, that good. one's got a 30 inch going on in the back, so okay. catch that one a little bit perfect. and then cool. they'll 30 inch mow this and bag it. Norman's like as we get in October, we have to pop the leaves into the yard first. And then usually mow. we'll do that at the end because there's not enough. Yeah. And leave the mower out and then blow a little pile and then mulch at the end. You guys charge more when you have to do that? It's, it's, it's like a lot. It's minimal. As, it. Yeah, but it's as we like go that. in October, I think we're gonna like force everybody on the weekly to right. just move to bi weekly. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, when all those drop, my goodness, you got some. Yeah, Liz said um, just keep the two week going and we can't do that on a two week price. Oh, that's for our winter. That's after our fall though. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. I, I was reading some some notes, too, on a Service Autopilot certified user, yeah. or advisor, and he has, like, we quoted off the square footage, and then we reserve the right to change it, upcharge yeah. you if yeah. the hours or something causes your job to go over our, our estimations. Yeah, but then eventually you have to give away that hour. You say, oh, I went over four hours. Okay, they're starting to run all the numbers in their head, right? I, I, yeah, I, I think you can win and lose. Yeah. He's just saying, never, don't ever lose. Right. Oh, no, <laughs> totally, totally. But, all I right. mean, hey, trying to figure out leaf season is 10 years in, and it's still, like, a battle. Yeah. And yeah. complicated. My name is Nick Denelsbeck. We are based out of Cordova, Tennessee, uh, which is a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. <laughs> Presently, it is... It is still this this ceiling of uh, 
it's a it's a difficult ceiling for a lot of businesses that are like us the size two to two to three crews uh, 300 to 500 thousand in gross revenue you are still wearing all the hats and you have to be an expert of everything and you wonder how you got here because you started because you were good at mowing yards and uh, making the landscape look amazing from so-so and now you've moved into a had to be good at accounting and understand taxes and, and manage people and personalities and, and do hiring and firing and and understand QuickBooks, uh, understand how to do maintenance and equipment, uh, purchasing, carry debt, balance that with family life and, and kids, uh, and you try to make a career because you, you cannot change course, you've spent so much time investing and investing money and sweat and tears and so you can't turn back because it's almost like you don't want to admit failure. So you have to proceed and push on. Uh, but there becomes a point where you get burnt out and that was happening to me. And so the, the minute I was sitting in the truck listening to Mike's podcast one day and he started talking about offering franchises, it was just a, it was just like a light bulb. So I knew exactly that I, right then and there, I needed to get a phone call, set up with Mike and figure out what this was all about and you can hear the pain in my voice and I said you know this is this has come to a point where I I like this I want to do this I believe in it I'm just having I'm just having so much difficulty living down all of potential uh, obstacles and poor choices uh, living through choices that are usually just down to you and just as, as an owner there's no Buddy to bounce things off of, so you have to just roll with the uh, the wins and the losses. Uh, that takes too much time, and it's been 10 years uh, doing this, and I'm still at the same size. And I just figured it's got to be a better way. Someone's figured out the wheel. I don't need to keep going it alone and, and trying to make decisions all by myself. And so uh, the franchise is. Augusta Lawn Care, the franchise opportunity is, is like joining a family uh, where you can share all of those pain and struggles and, and wins uh, with, with people that are in the same situation as you, maybe a different phase of it, whether they just be starting out or just been, they're now, they've, they've got six guys or there's different problems along the way. So, you know, it's really interesting. I've feel like I have so far to go but I, I know that there's guys that even ask questions that and guys and gals that ask questions that seem like so long ago that I had to figure that out on my own too and so if I just had someone to ask and not just someone in town that was a competitor that shared a little bit or some YouTube video that gave me a one-way opinion that I, I didn't have an opportunity to ask questions back or um, even a forum where you can get a question answered by someone else that's in the industry, but but they've got things to do, so the answer is short, small, and sweet, and uh, not very in-depth. So having Mike being an anchor to drive the ship forward and, and giving us guidance and constantly giving us stuff to grow our business with, with marketing, and uh, here's the next step. Okay, I see where you're struggling. You just you just need to boil it all down to something simple like you just need to get P4P working. It will solve so many things. It will move so much off of your plate and your guys will step up. Just you have to take a minute to trust them. Uh, with all that said, I, I just, you know, I have a positive outlook on the future of staying in this business. Um, whereas before it was just, it was just too much. It was, it was an avalanche of, of a ton of small things that just, made it hard to come home at night and compartmentalize it. It was, you carry it all the time and it's hard to, it was hard to compartmentalize it. So that's kind of where we, where I find myself. It's, it's still not easy. Um, there's still so many challenges. You still own all the, all the responsibilities, the risks and the failures um, and the wins. But knowing that there's a path and someone to help work, work you 
toward that path to, to where it's it becomes fun. So that's kind of that's where I'm at. It's it's becoming fun. It's still tough and difficult, uh, but I feel like we are just around the corner from where we've been stuck at for so long. And uh, really looking forward to the future. All right, so we just wrapped up here with Nick uh, in Cordova, Tennessee and was able to talk to him a little bit. I know you didn't get all of it on camera, but we've talked to him a little bit about pricing, and increasing the prices, getting the, getting the prices to where they need to be at for the level of care that he really has for his customers here. So they're gonna be working on that next spring, getting the prices up to snuff. And then uh, right now, we're gonna actually go head out with Nick and then Kevin. Fairburn's not too far away here. Also another franchisee that we'll be filming tomorrow. And uh, we're gonna go out for a little bit of uh, barbecue. So anyways, that's basically a wrap for today. Uh, gonna get back to the hotel, uh, put this all together. Josh's gonna work late into the evening again uh, for you all to see this video tomorrow. But thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.